Skateboard from 1986 stars Tawny Katane, which is fine by me because 1986 Tawny Katane was one lovely lady. And there's going to be a song by someone called Steel Breeze, so that's awesome. An awkward party conversation leads to the appearance of a Ouija board. Ouija. What? It's pronounced Ouija, not Ouija. It comes from the French and German words for yes, we and ya, Ouija. Oh, sorry, Ouija. This guy probably says Jeff too. I don't care what you call it, dude. It's just like a game, like checkers or chess. For your information, dude, the Ouija board has been around since recorded history. They do Ouija board things, but aren't respectful enough to the spirit, which leads to ghost shenanigans. Shut up, Jim. David, are you all right? It's really racing. Yeah, maybe he's late. The last flight back to limbo. Hmm. Sounded like a gunshot. Excuse me, folks. Pardon me. Oh, man. Multiple sadness. Who owns the Red Cobra? I do. Why? The tire's history, bud. The next day, Tawny Katane tries using the board herself, which is just what an evil spirit named Malfeeder was hoping she would do. <sighs> Jesus Christ, don't ever sneak up on me again. Fuck! Shit! Fuck. It begins to terrorize her in order to make her weak enough for full-blown demonic possession, while also attempting to murder those around her. I was irritated a bit with Witchboard when it started, and seriously, what was up with eyeglasses in the 1980s? The characters seemed vague and the story was nonsense, but as it progressed, it won me over. I appreciate the low-budget nature of the film, as there's mostly no supernatural special effects of any kind going on, just practical, real-world object manipulation. The characters end up strong as well. The two male leads were once friends, but Tawny Katane came between them, as she does. So that has to be resolved, as well as the whole ghost possession thing going on. I enjoyed that they visited Wonder Woman's witchcraft shop for supplies. I like that the always charming Arabella McGee from Murphy's Law shows up as a punk rock psychic. I appreciate that once possessed, the demon knows what he's got and glams up Tawny Katane because he wants to look fabulous. You just have to let go and have fun with this one. And as I hoped, the end credit song by Steel Breeze rules. You know you love the summer Oh, then you'd come back and you haunt me and flatten my tires and stuff. 